Now we all know the two-way playmaker is one of the most overpowered builds in NBA 2K22. But what if I told you that I found something even better? An all-new two-way that can unlock every single dribble move in the game. A two-way that could actually consistently get contact dunks unlike others. A two-way that would of course have Hall of Fame defensive badges. And not only that, but a two-way that can shoot consistently from anywhere on the court. This is what I would like to call the all-new three-way playmaker. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka HDF, and I am back at it with yet another banger. And today, yes, I have a brand new two-way build, a better version of the two-way playmaker. I'm going to be showing gameplay right now. I'm going to be showing all my dunk packages. I'm going to be showing how to make the build, all my badges, all that good stuff in this video. But first, let's go over some gameplay. Yes, this build's defense is absolutely insane. Yes, this build can green consistently contested. Drop a like on the video right now if this build is looking nasty or if you're going to make this build or if this video was helpful at all make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 1 million subscribers on the way we're gonna have plenty of builds throughout the entire season especially in season two now some of these clips are season one at the end i'm gonna show some season two clips because at the time of this recording we've only played one day of season two i'm already like a level 32 but you know that's low type low life double age but look at how look at how i'm moving though on a two-way playmaker i'm hunting for threes i'm looking like a play shot out here unlocking all these drill moves you know what i'm saying and you're going to see that I do have slashing takeover. But look at me. Look at me. Like, nobody can guard me. Like, look at this dude. He is lost. Where is he going? Green. Bill can shoot consistent. Gets more contact dunks. Has a higher vertical. There's just so many better things about the two-way that I'm going to show you what's better, why it's better in, in this video, okay? But first, let's just look at the gameplay, right? Look at me. These dudes can't hold me. I can take a two whenever I want. I can play threes, I can play twos, I can play the ones court, I can hunt for threes, look at me, bro, I'm moving on this build, 99 speed, 99 acceleration, look at me, bro, you can shoot consistent with this build if you guys want the jump shot, link in the description, you're gonna wanna put that jump shot on, uh, because this jump shot is the best jump shot for this build, okay, now, this build does go crazy, like I said, look at me just hunting for threes, I'm not, with this build, you're not, you don't have to be, oh, by the way, look at this, oh my, and we get snatch blocks i've had like four snatch blocks on this build so that's not like a one-time thing okay but yeah you can hunt for threes on this two-way build you don't need a rim run you know the days of watching two ways rim running with this build is over you can hunt threes and then you also have the two whenever you want it look at this i mean i i'm really just playing with some of my opponents you know what I'm saying? I have a 96 win percent with this build. I have taken this build to the stage on threes and twos and gone on multiple 20 game win streaks in this stage as well. So it's look at and look at me. Look at the paint protection right there. Are we kidding? Oh my god. And not only that, we get in contact dunks now. And not only that, this build is so good. We're cooking on invisible players. Do you see this? We're playing invisible players. Bop yellow green yes look at the top right that was an eight percent contested from an invisible player i'm cooking invisible i can't even see them y'all and i'm cooking them that's not the only invisible clip and that's not the only contact dunk too and these are contact dunks without takeover okay i don't even really go for contact dunks with takeover you know what i'm saying i can probably make people fall look at me cooking invisible players still i i, I, I just know that he can't guard me so i'm pulling it you know what i'm saying but yeah, this build gets all the drill moves. It's fast. It can dunk. It can rebound. It can protect the paint. It can dunk on anybody. It can dribble. It can shoot. Oh my god. I mean, look at me go, bro. It's just so... And not only that, it is fun using this build. I know a lot... Look, oh my god. Where is he going? Where is that dude going, bro? That's the wrong way, okay? I know a lot of you probably use a play shot. Mostly, that's probably the most popular build in the game. This build is just so much more fun to use, in my opinion. And it can really do it all. Like, there's nothing this build can't do. Like, I'm being serious. There's nothing it can't do. Um, look at me going for crabs, going for more contact dunks. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys how to make this build because it's a very detailed explanation. Uh, make sure you guys drop a like, sub up, and let's get into the official build tutorial. All right, guys. So we are in the build creator, and this is where I'm going to show you guys how to build the new two-way playmaker. Otherwise, what I like to call the three-way playmaker. I don't know. That's why I call it. Just a new and improved two-way playmaker. But before we make this build... You're going to need to go to these settings and please make sure you do this step. Otherwise, this build is not going to be 
as good as it is. Okay, so you're gonna go to your settings in the main menu. You're gonna wanna scroll down into the units of measurement. And it should be, most of you, it should be on Imperial 4. Make sure you switch this to metric. You want this to be on the metric system. And I'm gonna show you guys later on in this video why you want it to be on the metric system. Basically, to sum it up, you're going to be a 6-5 player that gets the 6-4 stats and the 6-4 dribble moves. And you're going to get all the drew moves in the game because there's a lot of drill moves that you need to be 6-4 or shorter for. Anyways, it is time to make this build, okay? So, we're going to go into the build creator first, the position. Now, I tested point guard, I tested shooting guard, I tested small forward. The best position for badges wise is going to be shooting guard. You get the most badges, you get the best attributes. It's just the common, the best combination of everything, right? Hand this, you can go either way. It's literally just personal preference. I personally like left hand, so I'm gonna stick with left hand. Jersey number, you already know how I'm rocking, bro. Number one for D Rose. We we keep it we keep it simple out here. Anyways, uh, we're going on to the next step. Now, first is going to be the pie chart. Once again, this is just a new and improved two-way playmaker. So we're actually gonna have this same pie chart. Now you're probably already thinking, okay, how is this build different from the old one? Y'all gonna see really quick that this is just uh, everything that the, my old two-way playmaker was, but just better at everything. Anyway, so we're gonna go yellow, red pie chart. We're gonna get Hall of Fame playmaking, Hall of Fame uh, defense. Now this is where it starts to get a little different, right? Last time I made my two-way playmaker, we did the speed pie chart. You do not want to do the speed pie chart. Because you can actually still get 99 speed and 99 acceleration without doing the speed pie chart. So why would you not have it more vertical or more strength? So we're going to go with the vertical pie chart. This is the second to last pie chart. This way we're going to have at 99 overall, we're going to have 99 speed, 99 acceleration. And we're going to have about a, like a 97, 96 vertical. That's like a plus 20 vertical improvement. And that's huge for a two-way. That's going to help with rebounds, blocks dunks layups now it is time for the actual build now the last time we made our two-way playmaker if you guys remember we had a badge count of four finishing 11 shooting 20 playmaking and 19 defense now the badge count is going to be slightly different than that um but pretty damn close right so we're going to go ahead and max out the important stuff we're going to do driving layup driving dunk we're going to max out the mid-range. We're going to max out the three-pointer, max out the free throw. Uh, we're going to put the post fit all the way up. Now, this is where things start to get a little different. Now, my last build, I had 11 shooting badges. This time, we're going to go with 10 shooting badges. You do not need 11 shooting. That extra badge I had, it just wasn't worth it. So, we may as well put those attributes somewhere else, okay? So, I'm going to go down to only 10 shooting badges. because, And I'm going to show you guys what badges I use for this build at the end of the video as well. So, you know... What I'm talking about where you only need 10 shooting and yes I shoot very consistent I've had games where I go six for six from three seven for seven from three now anyways the pass accuracy you're gonna want to max that out and then you're gonna want to max out the ball handle and that's gonna give you 20 playmaking even if you go down one you still have 20 playmaking if you go even down one right here you have 10 shooting so that's our shooting and our playmaking are perfect right now now for the defense max out the perimeter max out the lateral quickness max out the steal we're gonna we're actually not the offense we're gonna max out max out the defensive rebound that's gonna give us 18 now we're gonna upgrade the block until we get to 19 defensive badges and boom Look at this. We have 1, 10, 20, 19. We still have 35 attribute upgrades remaining. Now, the last time, we only got four finishing. With this build right here, we're going to be able to max out our close shot and even upgrade our standing dunk all the way to a 32. And that is going to give us seven finishing badges. Now, you can just put the plus one. I'm just, I just put it to block because may as well boost the block rating a little bit and this is going to be the stats on this build and the badge rating so so far the only differences are is now we're in the metric system instead of the imperial we are going with the speed vert pie chart instead of the speed pie chart and we are also getting seven instead of four finishing and 10 shooting instead of 11 and shooting so we actually get two more badges than the last one as well than the last build as well now this is where things start to get very interesting we're gonna go ahead and continue a body shape you can go with whatever i went with compact um this is where it gets interesting right here now as you guys know my last two-way playmaker was six foot five and there's a lot of good dribble moves that you can get 
but you have to be 6'4 or under to get those dribble moves. So my last two way puppet, it couldn't do the Derrick Rose speed moves. There's a lot of other moves that it wasn't able to do. So with this build, we're going to be able to be 6'5, but still get those 6'4 dribble moves as long as we are under this metric system. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. So if you look up on Google how tall 6'5 is in meter, in meters i'll even put it on the screen it's about 1.958 meters okay so this would be a little taller than 65 right here this 1.96 um 1.94 would actually just be a little taller than six foot four but there's an in between right there's 1.95 meters now 1.95 meters is just about six five it's taller than six four but it's um, it's just about six five so it's about six four in three quarters i'd say it's about a quarter of an inch off of six five so not only are you basically six five but you're almost a whole inch taller than the six four people that get those dribbles very glitchy to do this and to be honest i know after playing on my new two-way playmaker i got him all the way to 99 overall and all that stuff it's ba it literally seems like the same height i can't even notice a difference now this is very glitchy because when you go in to the 2k dribbles to buy these dribbles it still says you're under 6.5 even though it's like it's barely like a not even a quarter of an inch so you're able to unlock literally every drill move in the game so once again we're going to go 1.95 meters and then from there we are actually going to go minimum weight and then we're going to go up a little bit until the acceleration or speed goes down boom right there so 81 kilograms just a little above minimum weight then we're going to go max wingspan of course here are the stats now you're going to want to add plus four to all of your um stats on the left once you hit 99 um and once again if you're like probably watching this video you're like oh it's so hard to hit 99 it's not hard to hit 99 it's really not <laughs> people act like it's really hard bro just play my career on either you could literally just play my career and hit 99 on pro difficulty hall of fame whatever both very easy to do a lot of people make it seem way harder than it is but a lot of people also comment on my videos when i upload some of these build videos they're like oh you're just always assuming we're 99 well unfortunately the best builds in the game are going to be the builds that are made for 99 overall so that's just how it is okay now this build is still great if it's not a 99 overall but we're just gonna assume you get into 99 and you unlock the gym rat badge so if you're at 99 you get a plus four to the stats on the left and you have and if you have gym rat and you have um 99 you get a plus eight to the to the stats on the right so that means we would have a 99 speed a 99 acceleration a 96 vertical a 52 strength now i'm even going to show my actual build as soon as i sh finish showing you guys how to make this build fully and we're gonna have an 84 driving dunk that's enough for all the contact dunks the next threshold would be a 92 dunk and you're just not going to get that on any two way an 88 layup a 91 close shot you're gonna get a 68 three so same three pointers the last one 75 mid range 88 ball handle 90 pass accuracy 91 permanent defense 91 lateral quickness 97 steal and an 82 rebound so yes we're going to go with this max wingspan and here we go with the takeovers now i'm gonna give you guys the best advice for these takeovers now we actually have a lot of options here shot creating slashing playmaking and lock so i'm gonna tell you guys which takeover i chose and which takeovers you might need you should choose or the ones that you shouldn't choose do not choose playmaking takeover this is one of the biz biggest mistakes on my last two-way playmaking now playmaking takeover it's a pretty decent takeover but there is no takeover booster in 2k22 i don't know if they're gonna add one soon but it takes a long time to get play take i, I played about 400 to 500 part games with play take and i would always be getting it sometimes not at all or sometimes at 18 19 points and another thing with playmaking takeover the reason i chose it is because i was like okay it's gonna help my teammates shoot better and i'm gonna get a lot of ankle breakers i think i got two ankle breakers the whole time using this takeover that I actually made someone fall on the ground. I was using, I tested Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame tight handles, Hall of Fame space creator, all of them with play take. You just don't get a lot of ankle breakers this year. So it's just not really worth it. You know, if I want to help my teammates shoot, I'll just throw on dime or right. So I wouldn't go with playmaking takeover. Lock takeover is usually a pretty good takeover, but it's so hard to get this year unless you have Hall of Fame rim and you're getting a block. And even if you do do that, that's going to boost your takeover just as much as any of the other ones. Um, you're going to get locked take over like 19 points and you're gonna have the ball so what what is the point of having lock takeover when you have the ball a game point you know what i mean so that takeover is also really hard to get so i wouldn't i would try to stay away from play and lock 
And then all we have left is slashing and shock rating. Shock rating takeover could be pretty interesting on a two-way. Um, you know, if any of you guys test this out, let me know how it goes because I think it would be kind of interesting. But we're not going to go shot creating. I'm going to go slashing takeover. And I'll tell you why right now. Slashing takeover actually gives you a boost to a lot more stats than you would think. It gets a plus 10 to your ball handle when activated. A plus 10 to all of your driving stats. Plus 10 to your vertical. And it gives you a plus 5 to all of your shooting and defensive stats. So this is actually a really overpowered takeover. I can have about a 98 ball handle in takeover. With an... 94 driving dunk in takeover with what a 98 layup with a 73 three-pointer and you know 98 defensive so my defensive stats at 98 i think my steal would even be a 99 in takeover and my vertical would definitely be a 99 at that point this takeover is just is just crazy good and underrated and not only that with the recent patch in 2k they actually buffed finishing so this takeover is going to be even more better and you're going to be getting way more contact dunks as well making your driving even more overpowered and especially if you could shoot on a two-way playmaker when you have this activated they want to back up a little bit so you're going to be open and you're going to be able to green up anyways i'm going with slashing takeover and the build name is going to stay the same as a two-way playmaker now to give a little rundown of what's changed since my last two-way playmaker we went with the metric set of system instead of the imperial we went speed vert pie chart instead of speed we upgraded a little more finishing instead of shooting just to get some more badges and now we unlock every single drill move in the game while still being basically the same height and now we have changed our takeover to the best option for a two-way playmaker which in my opinion is slashing takeover and yeah let's go on to the badges and let's go ahead and look at the 99 stats and the best badges all the animations all that stuff for this build so we're going to start with the progression i do have a plus one mid-range sleeve on right now but yeah so we have a 91 close shot 88 layup 84 dunk i get the contact dunks needed once again the nice threshold is 92 so that's the best you're gonna get 68 3 76 mid-range this is actually really good a 76 mid-range that is actually insane 88 ball handle 90 pass accuracy crazy good defensive stats a 97 steal that is absolutely insane and look at my physicals it really doesn't get better than this 99 speed 99 acceleration 99 stamina and a 96 vertical with slashing takeover and you really can't get better better physicals than this on a build i'm not gonna lie to you these stats absolutely insane we have 84 plus stats in every category except for shooting and y'all seen the clips we can shoot consistent on this build now anyways we're going to get into the badges now i'm sure by the time some most of you are watching this video this is already fixed but for some of you it's going to be glitched it's going to show you only have nine or 19 play nine, 19 playmaking or nine shooting that's a visual glitch they're going to fix 2k is going to fix that soon but anyways just ignore that i'm going to show you guys the best badges in each category now finishing this is the bad best badge setup regardless i don't care what you think do just copy this setup okay there's actually no debate you gotta do gold post riser gold limitless takeoff and bronze fearless post riser is gonna give you those more contact dunks limitless takeoff is gonna make you jump in from the free throw line just far from the paint make you more dunks unblockable fearless finisher is gonna help you finish through those contact layups now we're gonna start with the shooting like i said the last time we had 11 shooting now i have 10 and the reason is for that is because i don't need an 11th shooting badge the badge you're gonna want to have on gold sniper 100 percent gold hot zone 100 make sure you get your hot zones um silver stop and pop bronze green machine you don't need anything higher than that and then bronze lucky number seven. Oh my god this badge is overpowered gives you a plus 15 percent to your green window when shooting in the first seven seconds of a play and trust me you are going to be sparking every time the first seven seconds of a play i am hunting for a three Oh, I do not miss in the first seven seconds. I'll tell you that much. Going on to my playmaking, we have 20 playmaking badges. You can, this is the first like kind of tier where you can kind of mix things up where I wouldn't, you don't have to copy exactly what I did, but make sure you have Hall of Fame, Quick First Step, Hall of Fame, Quick Chain, and Hall of Fame Handles for Days. Those three, just make sure you have on Hall of Fame. Now you can go a little different with the other ones. I would make sure you have Bronze Bailout so you can pass out of those jump shots that you're, that you might accidentally take. Let's say you accidentally shoot a contested shot, pass out of it contested layup pass out of it regardless all that good stuff bronze and pluckable just to have some kind of boost to not getting plucked you know what i mean i wouldn't go silver gold or hall of fame because like 
you're gonna get plugged regardless in this game i'm not gonna lie so i just go with bronze and then you need silver you need bullet passer on at least silver you can go hall of fame but at least silver okay and then i put hyper drive on hall of fame now you don't necessarily need this but i like to have it on you can throw on floor general hall of fame maybe you want ankle breaker you can do tight handles is a good one uh maybe dimer but i really wouldn't go with any of these other ones unless you're playing threes you could do downhill maybe you're rep farming special delivery otherwise i just keep it on hyper drive and that's what i'm going with now 19 defense bro i have learned so much about badges by the way and i have learned a lot about defensive badges i'll tell you right now do not put clamps on anything higher than silver. Gives you, it's just not worth it. Do, I'm tr just trust me with it, okay? It doesn't give you any extra bump animations. I get the same body up animations. Silver is good enough, okay? Go with bronze. Pick Dodger for those play shots that you're going to be guarding just so you, you, you at least get some boost for going around those screens. Silver pickpocket. Definitely worth it. You're going to get a lot of pluck steals with this. Hall of Fame Interceptor. Oh my god, I think this is the best Hall of Fame Interceptor has ever been. You get these crazy jump animations and catch animations into passing lanes. It's almost like you're literally a cornerback out here picking off passes. It's absolutely insane. Hall of Fame Intimidator. This badge is crazy this year. I, I have people missing wide open layups on me just because I have Hall of Fame Intimidator. I get extra contests where I'm not even there. This is a crazy good badge. Silver Chase Down Artist is going to give you those extra chase down animations. And then Hall of Fame Rip Protector, which is going to give you the ability to get snatch blocks. And when you do get a block, your takeover is going to go up tremendously. Now, here are my animations. I I am going to blur out these animations, um, except for the dunk packages. If you guys want my dribble moves, drop a like on this video. I'll come out with the, the updated dribble moves and with a tutorial if you guys want my jump shot go click the link in the description my jump shot is in the description go watch that video and yeah here is my layup and dunk packages right here if you need them these are the best most unblockable dunks and i highly recommend them once again if you need a jump shot go ahead and put on the jump shot from the link in the description um and also make sure your fate is trey young i actually i can actually fade with a two-way with trey young dribble pull up it's absolutely insane but yeah drop a like on the video if you guys want my dribble moves anyways you guys hopefully this video got helped you guys out a lot this is going to be my official main build now i'm going to be using this build mainly especially to start season two we're going to be going crazy with this build if i do make or max out any other builds i will make sure to drop a video on it so make sure to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you can see more more build videos more content videos and so you can see when i go live on youtube with this build live in action but anyways it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all